hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about uh, creating a job in our previous classes we discussed about how to install Hudson and how to configure Hudson and in this video we are going to discuss about creating the job in Hudson so basically jobs will be created for two purposes one is to execute your unit or functional test cases or to build the development project and create the release let's see how to create a job now so this is the Hudson home page so from the Hudson home page click on new job and give some job name here let's say test and select the one that is by default selected that is build a freestyle software job and save ok a configuration page will be opened so this source code management is important if your project is located in git repository or mercury repository but right now my project is located in the local system so i'm not configuring anything here let's leave it and the next important point is build if your project click on the add build step if your project is a maven project so select the invoke maven 2 or if you are building your project or running your test cases from through and build file invoke that so in this demo i configured a build.xml to execute my test cases so i'm just clicking on invoking and click on the advance make sure you give a, a and build file here so my build.xml is available in this location so i'm selecting this one and so that's about uh, invoking the ant and coming to post build actions let's say once your job is executed you want to send some email notifications or you want to publish some java docs or you want to create some jnit test results report okay so in that case you can select any of these options based on your choice but right now i'm not selecting anything and i'm saving it now your job is created click on hudson you can able to see that your job is created that is test click on the test to enter into the job and when you click on the build now it will be triggering the build.xml which you have configured okay so before clicking on the build now just discuss about the project which we are going to execute in our Hudson job so this is a test ng uh, test code i created a class called test demo where i defined three test methods test one test two test three and to invoke this test demo i configure test ng.xml so here i'm calling the class that is test demo and this test ng.xml i'm invoking through the build.xml and this is the build.xml which we configured in our job okay so here in this build.xml i'm compiling all the source code that is test demo i'm compiling the source code and i'm adding the required test ng jar to the build path to the build path or class path so that the code can be compiled once the code is compiled i'm executing the test ng.xml you can see here test ng.xml in a test ng task okay so so let's click on that that is about uh, this uh, demo project it is a test ng uh, testing framework so in order to work with all this uh, stuff you need to have a basic knowledge on the test ng as well as to create a build.xml you need to have a basic knowledge on the ant okay so once this project is done so we can click on the build now now once you click on the build now there is a build will be triggered
click on the build now we can see these things click on the console output now we can see the three test cases are executed and all are passed there is no failures and reports were generated in demo html report test engine report let's see those reports click on the index.html now we can see three methods three are passed and these are the three test cases so that is about creating a job in the hudson and invoking the job to invoke the job you just need to click on the build now and once it is built it you can uh, you can also able to see the console output what is executed and what's not executed all those information and this is the and target you executed from your build at XML. That is first one is init and compile and test ng execution. Okay, so these three and targets you can also able to find it out in your build at XML. One is compile and test ng execution, and there is a init. Yes, okay. So if you want this project, the project which I configured to the Hudson, if you want this project. So I request you to subscribe to my channel and send a mail to sudhir.evideos at gmail.com and mention the subject as need Hudson demo project so that I'll be mailing to the person whoever sends to me the project. Okay, so then you can also able to configure this particular project into your Hudson job and able to practice it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.